Hey everybody, uh, welcome back to Team Rad Titan, uh, Alex uh, over there, Yo -yo. Gio over here. We are cracking on with a review from Somarts. Now we're really um, honoured that they would send us this piece. This is the featured piece, basically one of the featured pieces of our giveaway for our 100th um, chat that we've done um, for the quiz. Um, and the winner of that quiz actually chose this piece. Mm -hmm. as, so this is actually was the top prize. Um, we're really honoured that they uh, believed in us and uh, they they uh, they understand what we're trying to do, which is great. Um, so stay tuned, and we're going to be reviewing Somart's Killer Bee. Um, yeah, peace. Hey everyone, we're so we're back. So uh, as George was saying, this is the uh, competition piece, and uh, we just thought we'd get a little review out of it while while we got it in hand. Um, I've actually it's seen, yeah, it's QC it to make sure that it, uh, it was up for the standards of the uh, winner. Um, I actually saw a few uh, Somars pieces while I was over in Asia. Um, I saw the um, uh, the one where he's called the Dragons, and he's got yeah, a lot of pointed punches. He won the Statue of the Year. He actually won the Statue of the Year by a Statue Forum, but he also won the Best Diorama. It was in one of our categories, wasn't it? It, was, it won a piece for us. I think it was a smaller piece. Uh, it won, this won six. Or it won all the yeah, others. It won six. It did, I think it won that category. It didn't win overall. Others. And then also I did see a couple of the uh, the other one piece uh, pieces while I was over there. The dragon one looks nice. The uh, ice dragon one was really nice. Some of them are just crazy. This is the first uh, one I've ever seen. It's so massive. Like, um, like Zorro, which you don't realise how big it is until you see it compared to like a little uh, gallon water bowl. Um, so basically, let's go into this. So the box of this piece is here so um can fit a flat team flat screen tv flat, flat flat screen. Screen. Ba -ba. so yeah. uh you know you've got the artwork on the front here uh you've got the uh, naruto up the top there it's quite class so much there it, yeah there really is and uh, you've got hqs there and then you've got the kind of like uh japanese kind of theme well here. this actually goes around the, the, bo the bottom of the yeah. base as well so yeah. and then if you uh work your way around again you've got the so much logo there oh you got it there and okay you've got the upside but i'm not going to turn around and then you've got some nice uh, kind of toilet reading there uh which is telling you all about the uh the characters so um and there is a there is a massive history with this particular piece um you know me and alex tried to have a little read through and alex even watched some of the car the uh the animated anime yeah. stuff but it is very uh you know, it's like a religion to some people. Well, so uh, you, need to, you need to check out Neo Dragon for, you know, we need him on standby for the information, really. It's one of the uh, sort of longest running enemies. Um, so it's been going on for a long time to return. I do know um, that he is like a shinobi and I do know that he's he has... a rapper. He has, he's a rapper. And I do know that he has a link to this particular thing, which is the eight... Eight Tails. Eight Tails, yeah. yeah. And he fights and he's actually a really strong character, believe, yeah. you know, which uh, he's, he's... Well, the episodes I saw, I mean, uh, one of them was, uh, he was fighting against some of the main, I'm assuming with the main characters, and there was like three or four of them. And he whooped them all. He kicked the crap out of all of them. And then one of them got angry and then beat them up. But um, I have to say as well that the way that it looks in the anime uh, and the way that Somarts have actually made it, Somarts have made it look really impressive yeah they've they um, hd'd that shit they? yeah they, they have they have so uh, I basically saw some, saw some images i wasn't impressed i mean uh, this piece really is impressive you can see why a lot of collectors actually collect for the statue rather than the well the if be there there are a few collectors i know that actually yeah they have um a handful of so much pieces but they don't actually watch any of the animes they just collect them because they're super impressive pieces so dynamic too uh, right? so dynamic Lots and they're actually uh, really good use of uh, clear resin on a lot of them um, when you actually look here, so actually, so I'm looking down at the instructions there. So, um, <laughs> how long did it take? Well, you? I put this together, and uh, I just have to say that I don't know, it took, it took a little while. Um, <laughs> this one actually is the first statue that I have actually encountered that has uh, nuts and bolts to hold pieces on. I mean, you have um, uh, like, a, like a bolt on the bottom of every tentacle, and then it goes into the base, and then you screw a nut on the bottom. Uh, so, there's eight of those. Um, and then you also have the, um, so go, just go down a bit more wide, you also have the base here, so you have that kind of uh, symbolage uh, going along there, that pattern. Symbolage. Is that copyright? Yes, uh, that's my new word. <laughs> uh, so you have that kind of pattern running along the yeah, base it's there. it's nice. Sculpted in as well, it's nice yeah. detail, it's not a uh, decal. And then working your way up, you have this really nice uh, clear resin. Um, which it's like a sea, right? It was, this thing comes out of the sea, right? comes out of the sea, yeah. So this is all the water there, and they've done it really, really well. Uh, and then you have these kind of little... Uh, pieces that you kind of add on 
Oh yeah, I can see it. Uh, so there's four of those. And they go in a particular order. But they do, are... but uh, the instructions don't really tell you where it goes. They just kind of tell you... They assume you, that you're smarter than we uh, are, which is probably true. They just tell you basically... Um, put the, the tentacles are numbered, so you put them all on. You they, they advise, you kind of put it to the edge of the table, yeah. and then you kind of like put it on, screw it, move it around, and do that. They are numbered, so they're quite easy to... Uh, uh, to identify and then once you get to the um, these pieces of water just basically they give you very in-depth details of how to put on the tentacles and then it goes number eight place additional waves on both sides of the structure so it's just like it doesn't really uh, give you the, the exact positions but you can put it where you want it to go really but I'm sure that there are proper ways for them to go uh, and then you have the um, the actual beast body which is that one piece. Just on, uh, and that's yeah. pretty solid uh, I mean, it's really heavy. Notice that we have not got the weighing scales for two reasons. One, as this is going to the winner, it's been put together fairly loosely so yeah. that we can take it apart with relative ease. And also, we really don't want to move it too much. And the reason for that being is that it's, it's just over 14 kilos in weight. And we, it's got a lot of clear resin. We want it to arrive to the winner in absolute mint condition as it'll be. We want it to be the best example of so much that we can give them. Um, and he also got sorry, the character on the top there. So he comes off, his scarf comes off, his uh, swords off the back come off, his uh, sash comes off there, and uh, I don't think they can. No, no the, head, uh, the head comes off there, and then. Um, I, don't know. <laughs> I can't totally remember. I did this a couple of days ago, but I've got the worst memory in the world. Um, so, yeah, very, very impressive piece. And. Um, Again, I mean, like working, just giving it a 360 going around. So you kind of got the detail there of the, the face of the uh, the ox there. It's a bit like Ray Charles, isn't it? I did. I put a pair of sunglasses on it, and it actually looked like Ray Charles. Really, really did off his album cover. <laughs> and, uh, and also, sorry, the plate comes off here. So the name plate that says Killer Bee comes off as well. It's very, yeah, you get this very really nice touch as well. Then you? We don't. We're trying to understand what the, the H C means. But we're guessing that the numbers actually go in this. This is an exclusive and it is also an unnumbered one, correct? It's an unnumbered piece, yes. Yes, so this is like one of the artists sort I of don't groups. think they have exclusives. Yeah. I mean, they just, this would just be numbered. And this is one of a thousand pieces that they did make. Um, so the addition size is really, it's quite, quite rare considering these are really, really popular pieces. Well, this is actually a replacement one. So they've... Uh, They've had, a, they've had uh, you know, their, their pieces come in, they've had, uh, you know, obviously you're going to get some damages, but then uh, they, every statue company would order a batch of replacements. Yeah. And, uh, you know, this is uh, kind of one leftover of one that they've uh, decided, you know, they can uh, give to give away for a competition or for a promotional piece, which is a lot, a lot of companies do that. Yeah. It's just that other companies normally, like Pop Culture Shock, would list it as an artist proof. Yeah. <coughs> anyway, um, so yeah, just going Muddy around. the waters there, yeah. eh? Might have murked that shit off a bit. Yeah. So, um, I mean, the funny thing is the character, actually, the, the guy on top, what's his name? Oh. It's Nate Naruto. No, no it's that's the, no, Naruto's the cast scene. His name is, is uh, B, right? Jin Karuchi, the uh, Jin Karuchi of Hichibi. Yeah, he is, they call him B, right? B. Killer B, right? Yeah. So he has a tattoo on his shoulder. You see it? Yeah. And that's, that's actually the symbol for iron. Okay. So he has that. Um, that means something. I think that's like what from what his village or something like that. It's quite an important meaning. And he, and he also has a tattoo underneath his eye, which is really well done of the horn, which is to symbolise, I believe, the link that he shares with this particular beast that he's in control of. Now, they have a very good, unique partnership that's not based on dominance or, or, or anything like that. They have like a almost symbiotic relationship. Well, it's uh, a relationship of peacefulness. It's just yeah, the back of the box. Yes, there is a broken horn there, which he's got the horn tattoo on his face. Mm. The one thing that really impresses me with this piece is just, just the level of uh, dynamics and flow. I mean, it has a really impressive, um, what's the word, a landscape? Is it landscape? Your footprint, mm. I'm looking for footprint. Where basically, you know, you've got the, the, the octo cow, <laughs> turning up and then you've got this fantastic swirl going on across the sash mm. well, I mean a lot of the uh, so much pieces are very dynamic and it's got a good flow uh, to it do you know what I mean and they're all like you know when you kind of look at the design of them you're just like wow that's that's crazy um, and like I say a lot of the pieces I did see were um, you'll have like there's one which has got like a big kind of uh, dog 
uh, behind him, which is like a, like made of leaves or something. Oh yeah, I've seen and, it. Yeah, yeah, uh, I know. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's like a, a wolf. New, it's almost like a yeah, wolf. Dog yeah, yeah. So I mean, they're they're super impressive, and I mean, this is one ape scale. Jesus. Um, so I'll go show you how big this actual piece uh, would be if it was like quarter or six scale. Um, Probably takes the, on table. Yeah, as I say, we did weigh this earlier. It was uh, just over fourteen kilos. Um, yeah. So we're not, unfortunately, because of the uh, the way we've kind of. Uh, put it together loosely. We don't really want to lift it up and weigh it too. Oh, we don't uh, move it too often. on camera. Uh, and then also, I mean, the uh, we can get the same measure out if you want. Yeah. But, um, the measurements on the box are um, forty-one centimeters by forty-one centimeters by forty-eight centimeters. Right. So I'm guessing uh, that the forty-eight is the longest bit. Yeah. Yeah. So let's see how. If if one of them is right, then I'll just take that as. Yeah, it's not. <laughs> no. I wouldn't say so. Look at that, I mean, from uh, the yeah. nose to the back, it's easy 52, 53 And the chin centimeters. does stick out more. And the chin, yeah, I mean, I would probably, yeah, I would say that's easy, I would say it's easy 55 centimeters of clearance, <laughs> which is around, why we do this, 20, 20 21 and a half. Okay. And then width-wise, bro, take it to where you think it's uh, the widest, widest point. point. Careful of the little gentleman on top. Just go a bit higher, just go a bit, yeah, that's, so what would you say that is? Oh, careful of the sorts. Yeah, I'd say that's around about there of clearance, which is, yeah, it's about 46, 47 yeah. centimetres, so around 18 inches. And then height is going to be to the top of, I'd say, here. So to your hand, there's, is it's about, yeah, I would say it's about 45, so that's about 70, just under 18 inches. All right. It's so a beast, uh, it takes a massive amount of, uh, I mean, this, this ain't going in no detail. Is it going in the best of it? No. 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 It's a custom display job. Um, we did actually, uh, we were going to go through the uh, the sculptors and the painters and, uh, do you want to pronounce them for me? Sure. There you go. So uh, the sculptor there is, uh, we've got Cyril. Cyril. Our uh, mate Cyril. Froji. Froja. Yeah, that's good. Here. And then we got the painter, which is uh, Glenamy uh, Hammery. Yeah. Uh, Glenamy uh, Hammery. And then we got uh, double, uh, the one of the other painter is uh, Mikhail Gurus. And then the artistic supervisor is uh, Cyril uh, Machio, Machio. Uh, sorry about pronunciations there. I, um, yeah, we're English, we're which English. means we only speak English. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, we, don't, we, don't, we can't do... Um, you heard that joke, didn't you? You speak like, a lot of language or multilingual. If you can speak two languages, you're bilingual. If you can speak one language, you're English. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, um, yeah, so basically, um, very, very impressive piece. And again, congratulations to the winner. Uh, huge, huge thank you to Somarts. And uh, hopefully we'll get some more of their stuff in and try and find some of their stuff in other well, have, collections um, as well. I have Vegeta on order. And, um, so we'll That's a very impressive looking thing as well. Yeah, so yeah, Vegeta's that, very, very impressive. I mean, as my, as my first ever piece I've seen from so much, so I've just got to say I'm incredibly impressed by, I mean, there's a lot of, I, I keep saying it, but there's a lot of flow to it. There's a lot mm. of good balance to the piece. It's painted very, very well. I mean, there are a lot of fine detail paint, especially on the figure himself, the character B. You know, the tattoo is crisp as hell. Mm. You know, there's some really neat and tidy lines. And it, it, I mean, I've seen some, I mean, he looks great as well, yeah. um, which is a, a nice touch. They've, they've really done an exceptional job here. So congratulations to the winner. You are very lucky to take this away because uh, if I had my way, you wouldn't be getting it at all. <laughs> It'd be in my house. All right, thanks guys. Do Much the love. usual, uh, like, comment, subscribe, and share. Share. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. So um, we thought we would uh, steal a review out of it, really. We're going to review the piece. We're going to get them out of the box. We've actually, we've already got it. <laughs> Fuck, <so. laughs> oh, My turn, man. My turn. Here we go. Love it. I don't, so well. I don't think it was. <laughs> okay, yo, yo, welcome back. So we're here. We're back. You're... No. Oh, no good. They never went away. Nah. 
So stay tuned to hear what we think about it, yeah? Peace. <laughs> I was going though again, man. I had to fucking sort of cave it in, shit. Right, come on, then. go through the box. And the, the women. <laughs>